Hey everybody, welcome back. It's uh, Survive of the Aftermath. Almost said the wrong game. Hope we're having a great day today. We got some people on the outside of our gate. It's winter time. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. I got the voices turned up here, so hopefully we can hear this guy a little bit better. Uh, I've, I've been trying to turn him up in editing, but I've decided to just jack it up right now. If some of the voices are a little bit louder than usual, maybe they're too loud, just uh, let me know. And uh, I'll, I'll try to see if I'll equalizing it out anyway. But yeah, anyway, uh, Kensei is a fighter. And uh, we can have basically that's it. Just Kensei is here. There's actually no survivors other than her. And uh, we're seeing fuel here. So we might as well accept it's a free a free person coming on in. So we, we definitely should accept that. So it's winter time. You might notice our progress up at the top here, 61%, 60, 65, and 54. General consensus from the comments that you guys have left is that I just need to wait longer. And we just need to have more progress made here before this will pop up. So um, I'm going to wait that out, and we're going to see what happens. Maybe I just delayed the main quest too long or something, and I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I got started on these right as soon as I could, and... You know, maybe I just didn't do it fast enough. I have no idea. But uh, I do feel like if this is the case, if, if you are supposed to have higher than this before this pops up, this game should at least tell you that. Uh, there should at least be something where it's like, get to su such and such to continue. It, it really should tell you that if that is the case. So I I'm really hoping that is the case because otherwise, well, we're progression locked and that's just the way it is. Uh, a couple of updates here on what I've been doing in the meantime. I've been changing the radio station. Let's just go ahead and do that. Um, so I have been uh, been upgrading the houses. Uh, a lot of tenements and stuff were upgraded to houses in here. And we also have a distress signal. It's a new uh, side quest. A colonist has managed to get a small amateur radio project up and running. She sets up a small dipole antenna and starts to turn it around systematically in all directions. Surprisingly, during one rotation, the radio picks up a faint signal. Uh, for anyone listening, not, not much left. Creatures, assistance. I gave it a shot. <laughs> I don't know if it worked or not. Uh, the antenna points to a general direction where the broadcast is coming from. Uh, also, it can't come too far away, or the small step, uh, or the small setup wouldn't have picked up a signal at all. Anyway, so <laughs> off on the side, uh, we've got uh, a place down here, a radio antenna down here that we can go in and investigate. So we're gonna send somebody over here. I think uh, maybe a fighter. Is it? They need assistance, right? So. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna send I'm gonna send Kensei the new Kensei yeah we'll just send her and uh, when she's on the map here yes. she's got good movement she'll be there in two turns what do we have here? just stress signal okay so um, that's what we're up to basically I need to let this all kind of run uh, I've been working on getting food and stuff organized uh, I have some people that have been periodically saying that they're malnourished but that's a little bit weird to me. Because if you take a look at what I have for food, not only do I have three meals, uh, three mess halls, get out mixed meals all the time, as you can see. Tons and tons of mixed meals. Is this the sound effects louder too for you guys? All right, so with that taken care of, we've also got, uh, I've been working on like trying to just solve like little tiny problems here and there. And uh, we've had every once in a while, we have somebody saying they're malnourished and stuff. And somebody says, just because I don't have enough mess halls, I've got three of them. And they're all making mixed meals. There is another one over here you may not have seen. Uh, they're all making mixed meals. And they're all fully staffed. And they're all running constantly. Um, but the other thing that makes me think that maybe that's not the case is if I take a look and hover over my food. First off, it's just 7624. But you're also going to notice other. We have nearly 600 mixed meals in storage. That's a lot of mixed meals in storage. So we're not, we're not down on any mixed meals. If it's a matter of moving them around and getting them stored, I've got storage all over the map. I don't really have a way to like tell them, go bring it over there because it's lacking over there right now. The game doesn't really give me that kind of control. So I'm just making enough of them and I'm hoping they're getting distributed okay. Uh, looks to me like this shrine's not covered by heat and neither is this maintenance depot. Take a quick look at our heat coverage here. It is a little bit lacking right there, isn't it? So, 
I have also been, you know, in the process of like just trying to get everything heated. I don't know if it's necessary to heat these things, but uh, if I can, I should, and uh, I will. So I'm gonna place this behind here. It's an electric radiator, and we're gonna heat these buildings. And then um, we're not really gonna be hunting or anything in here. Speaking of which, though, there's a lot of this is just bare. Like there's a lot of out like space like this, and I would love to just sort of decorate. You know, just decorate and, and put a whole bunch of trees everywhere. But you know what I think would look cooler? If we had some of these. If we had some of these regular trees like this sort of mixed in here, that would look really organic and I think it would look really good. So uh, I'm going to get one of my foresters. That's a sawmill. One of my foresters. Hi. And we're going to move your work area to just be like in this area to start. And we're going to see, you know, if you can find little places to plant trees that would be awesome just a few i don't need a whole lot but just a few uh, i'll look for like the little tiny trees to start showing up and then i'll move your range range over here and then i'll just i'll just keep moving it and see if we can get this place to look a little bit more alive <clears throat> um somebody said i should just tear it all down and make it look good um you you, you go girl <laughs> like i don't know who that is but no it's not me it's definitely not me uh, but I do tend to say, share my save files when I'm done with with the series. In the last video, I usually end uh, usually end the series, and I put my save files. I share them in the in the descriptions of things uh, if it's possible to do that. So I know it's possible here because I've done it with Paradox. Um, so I'll be sharing my save file here, and you guys can import that into your own game, and you can do whatever you want with it. That's that's completely fine with me. You get you have all day. Um, the other thing I've done is I've set up a medical outpost up here. That's an extra one. And then there's also now a new uh, outpost here. I think it was this region. I think it was this region I just set up. Might have been might have been this one. It's one of these. It's getting me ecosystem. But see, now look at sand production halted. Now what is this? Now it's halting me. Where is it? Wow. Wow. What is the barrier here? Is it like everything over 55%? I don't know. Before I before I click this, let me just go ahead and recruit this guy really quick. It's possible I'll need the currency. It's it's possible I'll need the currency. What I'll do instead is I'll have them wait by the gate. Um, and then I'll click this. So uh, let's go ahead and click this and see what's up. Deserted areas are the ones that suffer the most from the impacts when the apocalypse started. Whole cities were leveled so that nothing remains of them. Nothing grows on the vast plains, and the lack of water is as likely to get a lone wanderer killed as are the bandits that prey on the weak. These harsh areas are the best places to learn how to survive the extreme heat. In the desert, engineers can figure out how effective the cooling in the bunker needs to be and what solutions there are to achieve that. The conditions underground need to be need to remain habitable, even if the temperature outside would stay high for long periods at a time. Build any two engineer outposts in the desert biome. I feel like I've already done that, unless I need to build new ones. Maybe it's just talking about new ones. Uh, I told him to wait by the gate, so... Hi. <laughs> yeah, recruit. All right, so we're looking to get do engineering again, and uh, we have an outpost right here. So I think I'm gonna take. Uh, actually, this is a scientist. We're gonna hold off. We're gonna keep a scientist. Let's um, let's go ahead and put Marshall. He's a fighter. We'll, we'll create an engineer on Marshall here. The new fighter. Um, I don't really like to give up people with 25 damage output though, especially if they have 7 AP too. Like overall, look at this guy's stats. They're actually really great. So let's not get rid of him. Let's get rid of uh, her instead. I'm going to get rid of her instead. She is a fighter as well, but not I mean, 25 damage still. But I'm like, I've got a lot of people right now, man. There are you a scout scavenger? It's good to have those. Yes. Maybe you still 25 damage. I don't, I don't think it really matters who it is. Let's just get rid of her. All right. So we're looking for desert biomes. And I, I'm pretty sure I've already uh done a desert before but maybe not maybe i'm just wrong um this is a tundra tundra urban wasteland tundra tundra mountain plains 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 marshland desert so we've got 
uh, region down here. This is not a this is a desert right down here. So let's take a look. We got four of these outposts, four defense, three medical, and three uh, life support. So I think probably we go ahead and do the life support one here. We'll send you that way. Um, this doesn't look like a desert biome either. So it looks like it's all these down here. And I've already set up in like three of them. Look at there's already a whole bunch in desert biomes here. So I'm, I guess you can't like retroactively count them. So I'm going to have to do whole new ones. Gladly, or thankfully, I did not, you know, use all the desert biomes already. That would have sucked. So we got children born. Uh, I did want to show you guys one thing. We have 391. So we're going to test that, that 400 soft cap, right? Um, but I did want to show you guys this. Up here, this uh, survivor outpost, it is telling me that I cannot take any more survivors. That's really disappointing that there is, in fact... Uh, a limit on this um, but I can see it there is no there are no survivors here so I think it's okay to demolish this and it might be a place for engineers so I'm gonna go ahead and demolish this anyway and it's again it might be, it's possible that there will be some sort of engineering opportunity here for these engineer outposts if not then oh well we couldn't use it anyway but we'll go ahead and try that if we can so we made that engineer let's go ahead and drop another one down I am building them one at a time although I'm not sure if I should maybe build a second one just because at this point. Um, it does want me to build two. So technically this meets the requirements. If we need to build more, then we'll build more. Uh, yep. And then we're just we're just kind of waiting for the population to grow right now, right? So we're at 394. Somebody again said that children stop being born. People just stop having births um, at 400. This also might be why the group of survivors arriving at the gate happens, and it's only a specialist. It's because of how many people we have. Which again, kind of really disappointing if that is the case, but it does look like, like that's actually happening. You're going to see that we have 25 infected. Take a look at our medicine, though. We are well prepared for all this stuff. These two medical facilities have been working really well. It's not enough to really get us to these numbers. I have been trading for some of these pills. But we are generating quite a few medic uh, medical supplies on our own now, which is really great. I'm going to go ahead and trade you for your iodine pills and the fiber. And I think probably I'll take your parts just for the sake of the relationship. Uh, we don't have enough money for this, so I can give you rifles instead. And off you go. All right, now it's just a matter of waiting this out. Uh, I do want to make more power i have added a power provider there i'm thinking of putting another one right here if it's in range let me just see yeah it'll, it'll fit here put another one right here on this side we're kind of spreading them out a little bit but these big ones they don't need to be heated in the winter time to where these ones here they stop operating if it gets really cold Specialist ready for action. Let me just see. Engineer is getting closer. We got a long way to go, though. Here you go. And then uh -huh. Ken say you are ready to rock. Let's go. What do we have here? So it says after a while, a cabin with a raised antenna beside it can be seen on top of a small hill. The place is dark inside, but upon seeing the arrival, a small group of survivors rushes out. Is it safe? We were hoping for someone to listen. We just ran out of energy, so the signal went silent a few hours ago. The rest of our group is still trapped in a nearby settlement. We've got weapons, but we have no idea how to go about saving them. Can we ask for your help? Yeah, so we'll agree to help there. Uh, so we just need to save the trapped group members, and those are set in a nearby settlement. Yeah, okay, they're actually right here next to Fengshire. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, Denube here. She's a fighter. Yep. You get her to the world map really quick, and then we're uh -huh. just going to have her walk here. What do we have here? See what we got going on. Okay, cool. So a group sneaks into the mostly destroyed settlement, carefully peeking past every possible corner. Suddenly, the point man raises his arm. A massive mutated creature is roaming through the street ahead, following someone's scent. We need that quickly. Any ideas? We could lead the attack. I wish I could just distract the beast, but let's lead the attack. Oh, nice. 
the specialist moves to the front to assess the situation. Nearby cars could provide a bit of cover, so the group uh, lunges behind them before opening fire. Suddenly, a volley of bullets hits the beast and makes it roar in pain. Its head is twisting and turning, trying to locate the attacker. The fire continues, and finally the beast falls down, letting out the last horrible scream until falling silent. People appear from the nearby buildings and erupt into cheers. The survivors reward the help with generous gifts. Nice. Quest complete. I like the fun boxes, especially on that. What's That's up? nice. Um, we'll have you go back order. to yep. Fangshire. Have you go back to the camp to as well. Uh, we're going to get a car set up here so we can go and get uh, some more regions here on, on the outside. So I would like to go... First off, I have to figure out where the hell I am. There we go. Uh, I'd like to go in my garage here. And we're going to select a vehicle that takes as many passengers as possible. We'll go here. We want to obviously repair it up. So we'll go to do that too. And we're going to take, I think, fighter. Uh, you know, I probably should wait for Danube to get I should wait for both of these guys to get back, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to wait for both of those guys to get back. Uh, okay, bandits are approaching the camp and they're chanting. Now, I wonder if we can actually negotiate our way out of this because it is actually a really cool idea to negotiate right. instead of having to fight yes. them but because you're gonna have to fork over 50 concrete uh -huh. anyway right so we'll get everybody up front and then uh go ahead and take them out an unusually aggressive group of bandits marches towards the gate their chants are filled with bloodlust can be heard from a good distance away they look tough and taking them on would be risky. An offer of some sort might appease them for a moment. That's a lot of metal. So I'm going to threaten them instead. The threats only serve to escalate the group's skin-prickling chants. They bang their weapons against their chest, demanding blood. There's nothing to do but fight. Okay. Well, I think we can take them. Got them. Yay! So there is a patch coming to the game. You guys may not have seen this. It's in the, it's in the updates on Steam. Um, there's a patch coming to the game that will actually give you some loot when you defeat bandits. This is something I've been requesting since uh, ever. Uh, like for a long time. Every, uh, every single season it seems like when we play this. This is season three of this game uh, on this channel. If you want to see the others, I guess go back to the playlist tab. But um, the fact that we get absolutely nothing for destroying these guys has always been a really an a big annoyance to me. Um, because they just constantly come in. You can't stop them from coming in. They destroy your stuff. They cost you resources. And you get nothing in return ever. Um, so they, they're, they, that's coming. They're, they're going to be uh, updating the game for that too. So that's, that's going to be a really good, a very welcome change. Take a look really quick at the cars. Apparently it didn't change radio stations like I asked it to. So that's fun. Um, this is the desert tile. We're going here. Yep, just making sure. Okay. Go back to radio. Seriously? Come on. You can do it. There you go. It's easy. I know you can do it. I like it because it, it contextually changes. The other radio stations do not change based on where you are. Um, and that one does. So I, I like that. Um, also, the... Uh, plastic gathering that was right here. That's expired now. It's all done. There's no more resource there. So I've built two two-story houses here instead. And we have now 400 colonists. We have room for 441. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking down these shanties. Even the improved ones. And it's going to force people to kind of move into other locations. Move into other housing arrangements. Um, which just makes people more happy. We have really great happiness here. We still have a good entertainment balance as well. And uh, we're at 402 at the moment. So we'll see how many children are still being born. But again, there's a, apparently, uh, so I'm told, there's a soft lock on this at 400, which is, well, I really hope that's not true, but if it is, then it is. Get, get rid of this one, get rid of this one, and get rid of this one. Let's see what we have for housing now. At 413. Okay, good. We got these houses here. We can get rid of these shanties. And I'm gonna put in another. I'm gonna put in some more houses. 
right along this uh, side here. Actually, yeah, no, I, I want them over here. Like this, right behind the... Yeah, right like that and like that. Okay. Uh, we'll put in one more house actually right next to this too. Okay. And then we're currently at uh, 404 as our capacity. Uh, so we might find we get a little bit of homeless. Um, but once these houses are built, we can then tear down these two shanties. And then I think... Uh, with that shanty being gone, I think that's all of the shanties. Yeah, I don't think any other shanties exist aside from that. So there are, everybody's going to be in big houses now, which should be uh, great. This excess space that we're generating by eliminating these, um, I can place schools here. Well, at least I thought I could. Might have to get rid of these wind turbines, which isn't a huge deal, but kind of didn't want to. I'll, I think I'll use this space to do it. I'll put a school. I'll put a school right here where these shanties are. Let's have one of these houses built. Uh, let's prioritize. I really don't care which one you do. Just prioritize one of them and get them built. And then we can eliminate this one and this one. Uh, I probably should get two built before I tear them down, but just because it's there's a lot there. I think we might be needing to get additional tailors. Um, I don't see our clothing going up. So I'm kind of leaning towards getting one more or maybe another sauna. Saunas will fit in here. Hey, yeah, yeah. So you go and you fight in the pits and then you go across the pits into the sauna you know, clean yourself up after the fight. I like it. And then we probably should put like a little, I don't think it'll fit here anymore, but I was going to say we could put a field hospital here. Yeah, I'd have to move that to have that happen, but it would make sense to have a field hospital back here, right? Actually, it would make sense to have it here, but we don't need one, so I'm not going to use one. Like just for the sake of doing it, it would make sense to have that. Also, it looks like they built this one first, even though this one is priority. That's funny. Yeah, okay. So we can tear this down. Got people born, people dying of old age. 405, and we have no shelter space. We have exactly the right amount of people for the shelter we have until this house is built. And we can tear this one down. Right about most. Wait for it. Still waiting for it. You know what? You can be homeless for a little while. It's fine. Not a big deal. All right. So we'll take the school and let's put that over here. Right on the corner like this. That's fine. That's a, a school right behind the storm dome. This is where we train the fighters. Did you know that the fighters were kids? I bet you didn't know that the fighters were actually children. Well, we you know we learn things every day. Child fighting pits. That's what we have here. The world has gone to shit, so it, it literally has. It's okay. This is this is fine the way it is. Um, I would like to get rid of this. And replace this with a... Uh, nope, not a boosted burner. Just uh, Let's just put it as an industrial radiator. That's probably overkill, isn't it? a regular radiator do this it won't cover that i want it to cover everything i can place it here though that would cover everything do it we'll place it there wait was that even in range for electricity i don't think it was i mean the transformer will reach but we'll well we'll find out i have room for a transformer here if i need it so whatever it's fine Engineer, make outpost for life support. Uh, I think I want it for, for this. This is getting 2.74, 2.73, 2.09, and 2.05. So we'll take okay. this one. Sweet. Uh, and then outpost we want to make we want to make one more over here. We want to make one more, and let's use her. 
That's the scientist. I don't want to do that. Uh, let's use you. Scavenger. I don't I don't know if it matters which one we use. Whatever. Just use just use her. And we're looking to get another in medical, probably. Just because the pacing is slower than everything else. So uh, can we use? Um, I don't want to use you. Oh yeah, I do right here. Uh, we can. This is this is useful for um, for ecosystem, but we're gonna use medical instead. And we should probably actually use this before we. You should probably go to a desert tile though. And this is desert over here. And this is like more life support over here. No medical in the desert, unless I go way over here. But I think uh, we'll probably hit life support even more. Let's just do two life support here. And then we'll make another one. Audio is starting to get a little bit glitchy. It's very patchy on when music plays. I'm noticing little hiccups when I, depending on what I'm doing. Let's make another one of these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get two more just because. Looks like there's a scientist lady at the gate. She's got pills for us. Car is parked by the gate. We'll take the antibiotics just because I don't want to lose the components. And we are currently making lots of herbal medicine, rejuvenating our supply. I think I'm gonna switch you guys to antibiotics. Goes antibiotics here and here. We go, and then let's get another medical. One more medical lab. And this one can be persistently herbal medicine. Because we will run out of herbal medicine if I have these both just doing this. Um, but if I can make this one just constantly doing nothing but that, that'd be great. I'm also going to get this insect farm running. And then I think probably we should get the other greenhouse going too. Right here. For the herbs. And then one more for the insect farms. I want to have five insect farms. It's actually an achievement in Steam to have one of every type of insect growing in your colony. So I'm going to look to do that. I don't, again, I don't normally hunt achievements, but um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit, feeling a bit peckish on my achievements. Okay. I'm feeling like I can achieve something in my life. It'd be right here. So those, there's our five. Uh, wait, no, we need just five. We don't need this extra one. This one can go. We don't need it. I would really just like to put it next to it. Yeah, I don't really like the location here. I want all five to be in a row. So none of those. I want none of those to be there. We're just gonna have to make another. Let's make another connection for power. That's fine. Go about like that. And then, do these need water? Nope. No water for the insects. So we're currently producing wax worms, mealworms, and crickets. And that's this, this, and this. So we just need one for in raw insects. Uh, we need one for cockroaches and buffalo worms. And if we have one of every type of insect, I get a steam achievement. Isn't that nice? Uh, isn't that nice? All right, so let me just let this run for a little bit. I'm gonna get another specialist when the opportunity arises. I also would like to get more uh, components. We'll do that from Junkton because it's here. I don't think I'll need any more fun boxes. Might as well get the tools. And I'm gonna give you prime meat. Thank you very much. And then I'm also gonna go and see if I can get components from anyone else. Uh, no, but there is concrete, and I'm always going to take concrete, because that seems to be the limiting factor at the moment. That's fine. I'll, I'll just pay for those. And then anything else. No antibiotics or anything. It's all... It's fine. There's some there's some meals here, I guess, just in case it's a distribution issue. We'll go ahead and buy this stuff. I'll buy the pills. Why not? Let's just, let's just buy their stuff. Give them some milk. Give them some oil. Give them a whole bunch of junk, let's say, and call it good. Uh, there are also... Another thing that's coming to the game is the ability to get rare metals 
on your map tile. And what they're going to do for that is they're going to take the these metal extractors and you're going to be able to upgrade them again to include uh, like sort of magnetic properties, if you will. Um, so I assume then that they'll generate metal, junk, and rare metals um, persistently in these spots, in these underground deposits. There's also these two buildings here. There's a gunsmith here and a refinery that I have not built yet. And I'm thinking we might as well turn that on and we'll turn that on and we'll just get these industries running just so I can see what they're like. Um, we don't really need them, but we'll do it anyway. Speaking of doing it anyway, where's my car? Because I started this and I didn't finish it. Yeah, so we're going to take uh, all the fighters. If I can get one that has more AP, that would be better. Like, I would like to have... This is good enough. 8 AP is amazing. We're going to take you instead. This is the team I want for this. And so this car is ready to rock. So these four, what we're going to do is we're going to have you guys just barrel through these guys and just like delete. Basically, I want you to delete these guys. Okay. So we're going to bring the car up to there and you're going to delete those guys. Now, another car, you get another one running and I think we'll take this one and we'll have the scientist. We'll have the... I think we'll just have three of you. I want to keep one person at home. I think it's probably a good idea. So we'll have these three, and they're going to go longer distances around to... Uh, not this way. They're going to go over where the other territories are not unlocked yet. That would be... I think it's the bottom right corner. Uh, we got to go here, here, here. Uh, in this area, sorry. Uh, and then these three areas here, and then um, up here. I want to see what all of these are. I can't see this one until I get these guys done. So, you know, I might I might look to have these guys take them out. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I will send all four. We just we just got raided, so it's probably safe to send all four of them. Uh, but then I also cannot make the engineer. Yeah, that's a downside. Let's um let's pull one back. We'll we'll do three of that team. And we'll make an engineer out of her. So let's go ahead and make you an engineer. And you are going to go towards, I think, ecosystem, which is this close one that we have. We just took this away, so it should be very quick to get that. And same thing. You're still going. Uh, where are you going? You're going to the desert, I thought. Yeah, you're going over here. Where's that other engineer at? Where's the other one? Did we already make it? Already made it. I'm I'm losing my mind here. Okay. Uh, so this should this should I think theoretically be our last engineering outpost, unless the game really wants me to make to do more, in which case then okay. But um, I think that's probably the last one I'm gonna build. Uh, so I'm gonna see about getting something else in this space, and I think maybe. The other electronics factory could have been here. Um, we have more than enough parts, like a, super, like a ton of parts. Actually, I don't think it can be there. I think it's too big for the... Yeah, there's got too big a footprint. We'll, we'll go ahead and turn that back on, too. There we go. This is going to be growing herbs. Thank you very much. And you, insect farm, are now going to... I only want one. We're going to take and get cockroaches in this one. There we go. Beautiful. All we have left is 10 concrete here, and we will uh, we'll have that going. Now, there's somebody homeless. We're at 411. Okay. That's good. Um, that's a good sign. It means we can have more. Uh, let me go ahead and buy another house. Or buy, build, buy, I mean build. Another house. I'm going to build it right back behind the school like that. And then um, I think we can probably fit another one in right over here. I think one will fit here. Ooh, nope. Uh, we can, however, put another two-story maybe right here. There's underground plastic. I might want to work there. Let's put it over here. Another two-story house right here, just in case. 
Right there. Right on the water. Get them to build that. How's our entertainment? We're plus eight. Probably should start looking into adding a couple of things. Maybe a monument here and there. We can fit this right here. The doable. Um, another m memorial, I mean. Not monument, but sure. Uh, I think maybe we could fit another one. Eh, how about right here? No? Right here? Right here. Put another one right over there. All right, yeah, there's no power to this. So I'm going to have to bring in another transformer and place it on top of that. And then let's have that be built next. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We don't need to build that next. Uh, we can build the house next instead. It's fine. Because it's not winter yet anyway. And now I just have to make sure that all this stuff is covered by... Yeah, all the rats. No, no big deal. I have to make, our, all, make sure all these homes are covered by heaters. A pack of rats has overtaken the Attack ranch. the vermin. There. Colony's under attack. We should be able to handle this. I actually didn't think this would be coming in from all over the place. Like, what do you mean attack the vermin? Rats are infesting things, and they're just all the way out here? That makes no sense. They should be right where the event happened. Okay. It's all right. We have guns. Dude, seriously. We have guns. You should be shooting it with your guns. You're so passive. Why are you standing still and not doing your job? Shoot. Shoot ta. Shoot ta. I mean, if everybody's fighting it, it'll die. I don't. I can't imagine any rats. I can't imagine rats actually kill anyone. Like we're just protected from everywhere, right? We got guards everywhere. We don't. We shouldn't need to worry about this. You're drafted. You. You're also drafted with automatic weapons. Seriously, attack it. You don't have to be melee range. There you go. You. Attack this. There you go. All right. I think we're pretty much taken care of. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason why that should ever be a problem. Um, we'll take the scientist recruit too. We've triumphed in battle. Very nice. Uh, speaking of like fighting and taking and killing mutants and uh, threats against our lives with automatic weapons and all sorts of things, basically on theme with everything we've seen in this video anyway, um, we are, I'm gonna be streaming some Project Zomboid in the middle of this month. I'm going to be taking on the game. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a beginner at the game. Uh, I'm going to be playing it with my brother as a sort of a co-op. And uh, I'm willing, I'm, I'm open to inviting some other people in if they'd like to as well. I might even get myself, I might even go ahead as far as to get a server. And, um, you know, allow people to join in when I'm live. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take that on a little bit. It, it's always looked interesting to me, but it's, it's just never been something that I've really... You know gotten serious into i never took it seriously or i never really just i guess what i'm meaning to say is um i think it's finally time for me to try it out and uh i'll be doing that soon i'm not sure what i have this extra maintenance facility for like this is pretty this coverage on this is pretty good already i think i might have built it so that i can move this one yeah i think i wanted to move this one over here take care of these yeah so if you're interested in joining me for project zomboid um we are not we're not really interested in playing with anyone that has a lot of experience in the game um that is not an optimal it's not an optimal experience for us um we do like to learn on our own we do like to experience things uh, as they go and um playing with people who are really experienced it tends to be a carry and teach situation, and I really don't like that. I don't like that situation. Um, so I'm like I'm open to uh, playing with people, but 
if you're wondering, it's like, oh, I don't know that game very well. I, I shouldn't play. No, no, no. You're the kind of person. You're the kind of person we want to play with. <laughs> um, we are. I'm not saying that if you've played the game before, you're not welcome to join me. But um, what I am saying is that if you're like somebody who's got thousands of hours into it and you're a hardcore fan. Um, mm, I'm going to pass on, you know, let, let us get our feet wet. Let us learn the game really well. And, um, you know, once we've once we're comfortable with it, then we're open to more experienced players. Because again, we just don't want it to be a carry and teach situation. Hopefully that makes sense. And, you know, some of you, uh, I, I know of a couple people who have kind of expressed that in, in games in the past that, that that wouldn't happen. They won't. They won't help us with that or they won't do that. Um, and it, it's, it, it never is that way. It is, it is always going to happen. Um, because there will be those situations where it's, it's just, co it's just common human behavior. You know, people naturally want to help other people. Uh, so you'll be like, you want a pro tip really quick? And you know, that's, that's fine. Um, I don't have anything against pro tips really quick. Uh, but in general, um, I would really, really like to just play on my own. I'm going to play with my brother since neither one of us have ever played the game before. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys will join me for that. Uh, I am going to start streaming a lot more often. 2022 is a, a year of streaming for me. Uh, I am going to be streaming a lot. And there's actually an announcement video that's coming out really close to when this video releases that talks about that a little bit. Um, I'm also doing something really crazy in 2022. Like, it's, it's kind of mental. Um, I've been, I've been called crazy from the people who know what I'm going to do. Uh, and they question the sustainability of it. <laughs> Rightfully so. Um, but, uh, it's, it's nuts. So check out that video if it's posted. If it's not, you're going to see it like within a day. E easy. Um, it's, uh, 2022 is going to be crazy. So let's go ahead and attack here, attack here, attack and attack. Let's get everybody to attack this guy. And uh, once this is all done, then we'll get back in the car, we'll move over and take out these guys. I would like to make sure the entire map is completely wiped of bandits. I think that would be uh, a nice thing to do. I can defeat the dead rats here, for example, just by getting my other fighters, but um, I would very much like to do that. I'd get, get rid of the entire map full of bandits. Uh, this garage should be done. Let's create this team and these are not fighters per se. I mean, they have some fighting skills, but they're not really fighter types. Um, I'm gonna see if they can take out these guys by themselves, uh, the three of them. And if they can, then we can go ahead and keep liberating things over here. So um, I'm gonna go get this region first. Uh, we also need to get that. I missed that. I need to get that too, but it's okay. So now we have just one person here and that's Hex. Hex is our, our lone our lone person here. You make outpost for this. All right. Sweet. Outpost is now complete. Sweet. Uh, so Hex is just going to hold down the fort while we're out on the map. Fine. And I didn't get the desert. Deserted I didn't get the desert biomes yet because this is still on its way. But this is done now. It's going to be here right now, and we're going to get it for not for support, right? It's not for defense. They're both kind of the same. But this is the desert biome we're looking to do. I can technically reach this one. Ooh, why don't we hit the eco? Why don't we hit ecosystem again? I can I can reach this. I'm gonna hit ecosystem again. Scorching heat makes it hard to breathe in these barren areas, but the same knowledge can't be gathered anywhere else. The desert is covered with impact craters. Observing their shape and size reveals what kind of objects created them. The craters are too small to be made by comets, but they match well. Uh, but they match well if the object was a mid-sized asteroid or similar shrapnel from Shattered Moon. It appears that Earth actually was not hit by the largest of the objects. Hundreds of millions lost their lives during the first weeks after it was it all started. However, most of humankind perished in the following years, not because of the cat uh, the catastrophes. They perished because people had no more empathy. Okay, well, let's go ahead and hit it at one more time and see what happens. Go to the bunker construction site. With the new knowledge, the last obstacles have been removed and the work can continue. 
Hopefully everyone can last a little longer. Nice. It has been a long road to get here. The project has not only given hope to the people in the colony, but the people have made the colony their home. This is no longer just a colony of survivors, but a small town on the frontier. One can only hope that one day, this will become the first city in the wasteland. Let's continue the efforts. Oh my gosh, it's getting done, guys. Look. Look at this thing. Mmm. Isn't that nice? This thing's basically done, isn't it? Huh? Phase three under construction. So the exterior is done. You don't really see people building anything on the outside much anymore. I guess this guy's still here. A little bit of scaffolding, right? This little tarp over here to like cover it up while they put the plating on. It's nice. I guess there is a couple people here. But I imagine most of the construction of this thing is happening underground at this point. I would think. So uh, that's pretty exciting stuff, huh? We're at 417. That means we do have homeless. Means I acted too hastily in taking away uh, the shanties, but uh, that's okay. They'll, they'll get homes eventually. I'm gonna place another two-story house here just in case. Uh, that's not where I want that to be. Let's go ahead and do that. And it's gonna be right there. There we go. So there'll be extra ones here. We'll go ahead and pause that just so they focus construction on the ones that matter. Uh, and we're really light on concrete right now. So we do need a lot more. I wanna make sure we grab a good plethora of components. Uh, some plastic, here we go. And we'll just pay for it. Uh, and then I wanna get anybody with concrete, anybody. I think Mall Town actually. Mall Town's bringing us 312 concrete. That'll be great. That's 12 hours away. It does appear as though babies are consistently being born. Uh, we have 96 children. Oh my God. Uh, we definitely need the schools then, don't we? Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot more children than I thought we had. There's a new quest and over six, over 760 mixed meals. I'm not entirely sure if I need another mess hall, but I don't think so, man. I really don't. Nine are, nine are homeless. So once this is done, that'll provide it for eight. Uh, and then this one will be, this one will be uh, an extra five right there. And now we have another side quest, Raiders. Local raider activity has picked up recently, and several gangs have been spotted looting and pillaging in the nearby areas. It'd be a good time to strike and put an end to this madness they have brought to this region. So we'll look to take those guys down too, but uh, I think I'm going to leave that for the next video. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate you. Um, remember all the things I said in this video, I guess, because that's what you guys do. You always remember everything I say, right? It's like, it's like the good book. Absolutely not. Uh, take care of yourselves. Love your faces. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.